Good evening, everybody. We're joined here this evening by GNE manager Stuart Mellish. Stuart, uh, a 1-0 win on the road, a clean sheet on the road, uh, and three points to start February. Uh, it's uh, probably not a better way to start the month. No, absolutely delighted, Dan, to be honest with you. I thought the lads were first class. Difficult place to come here. They've had some decent results at home. So, uh, a 1-0 away from home on a Tuesday night, I'm absolutely delighted. I thought, we, I thought we started the game really brightly. I thought the first 15, 20 minutes were totally outstanding. They couldn't get out of their own half. Um, albeit the, the pitch sort of helped a little bit in the weather, um, but we're closing things down, was creating chances, and it's really important we scored in that first half, uh, and we did. We got a great goal. Finley done well reaction. He's hit the bar, and he's first to react, and then puts it in the top corner on the, on the half volley, which is a really good finish. So we come in at half time, really, really buzzing, but expecting they'd come on second half, and they did. You know, uh, they had 10, 15 minutes of real pressure. Um, but I thought, as a, as a team, I thought it was absolutely outstanding tonight. I suppose it's two things really. One, you must be pleased that you know we were actually able to capitalise on the game when we were on top uh, in the periods we did in the first half, and then obviously second, you know, bit of game management in the second half, you know, keeping the clean sheet that we haven't had in the last few games. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I, I'm sick of telling the lads, and they're sick of hearing me. You know, goals don't win your football matches. Clean sheets win your football matches, and I'll keep drum, drumming that home to the lads. Um, so clean sheets massive, particularly away from home as well, because we've conceded quite a few in the last four games. So we're back to where we are and keeping clean sheets and being hard to beat, which is really, really pleasing. And the game management was outstanding. I thought, you know, uh, Jamie worked tirelessly. That's why I brought him off the last 25 minutes. Hugo worked tire tirelessly. He came off the last 15 minutes. And we just went to a 4-4-1 and dropped Keats in that little number 10, who I've got to say was absolutely outstanding tonight. Keaton Mulvey was absolutely different class. Works his socks off. But as they all did, um, it was a real, real quality, professional team performance and I'm delighted. And obviously a result not to be underestimated, you know, these put three or four past uh, Colm recently, they had a good result. Absolutely, I think they put seven past Monsley, didn't they? Being three 0 down, so I knew it was going to be a difficult one tonight. Especially after our two last two away games where we've got beat and it was difficult at Warrington for us. Uh, really difficult. Um, so we had a good, re really good training session last Thursday, worked on a few things. Disappointed the game was off Saturday at Bootle. Uh, at home to Bill, should I say. But uh, to come here tonight and keep a clean sheet and go, at least I love 1 0 wins. You know what I mean? I'm probably old school a little bit. 1 0 is a great win. Away from home is different class. There's been a few occasions this season where you know the lads have had to show some resilience and sort of dig a result out of the bag. Do you think this is one of these nights, obviously, coming off that you know, the last time we played was a 4 0 defeat? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think it was, I, I just think we started off really brightly and on the front foot in the, and they just, they just couldn't live with us for the first 20, 25 minutes. Um, and we get the goal. And then second half, listen, best teams in the world have spells where they're under pressure. And we're under pressure there for 10, 15 minutes, but we dug in, we compact, we kept our shape out of play, out of possession, and we remained patient, remained patient. And when we got the ball, we kept it well, we played in the corners, we still continue to turn and we win second balls. Um, so I don't think, I think it won't, I won't say it was a case of hanging in, I just thought it was a real professional performance today. We've gone, we've gone ahead, we've won 1-0. And we've, we've kept a clean sheet and it's uh, a real good performance. You know, in terms of the individuals, obviously you mentioned Keaton, uh, new defender, Lewis, Lewis Cunningham uh, from York. You know, were you pleased with him on his debut, very vocal early on? Absolutely, I'm delighted for a young lad. His game management particularly, last 10, 10 15 minutes were outstanding. He was still closing the winger down, wasn't giving him a second to turn on or you know, rest on the ball and create problems. He, he'd done really, really well to be fair. And Scotty, you know, I brought Jordan Scott in, a player I've admired for a long time. Uh, unlucky not to start tonight, to be fair. He was going to start Saturday. Um, but he'd come on there the last 25 minutes and just give us that little bit, little bit of know-how, a little bit of know uh, a little bit of composure, and more importantly, a little bit of ability as well. Um, so I was delighted for, for uh, Scotty as well. But overall, listen, to a man of a different class. And finally, you know, we, we've talked on a few occasions about, you know, the lads, it's been a young squad that's been together not too long, building some experience in this league. Was this a night where, you know, they really demonstrated that they've become a bit more streetwise in the last few games, you know, being able to actually, you know, manage a game for, for the 45 minutes after the lead? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, it's, it's you know, we, we, I say when we get beat, if we don't lose, we learn. And we've got some young players in our squad, some good young players. So tonight was another, it was a great win, but it's another way to learn how to manage a football game, particularly away from home. And winning one nil, having a know-how to keep a clean sheet is uh, will do an absolute world of good tonight. A real good lesson for them.
And obviously we've got a, a unique opportunity, uh, a Friday night game coming up at the Amdek Forklift Stadium, the friendly versus uh, Kers Nashton. Bit of an experiment from the, the fans, you know, operationally on a Friday night, but uh, from the from the playing side, how are you thinking of approaching it? Yeah, listen, it's, it's, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a challenge. Listen, Kers are a good side, a very, very good side. I know Adam really well. I've had some battles with him in the past when he's at Farsley and at Kers when I was at Warrington. Uh, he's a very good friend of mine, so it's going to be a difficult game, but it's going to be a real good challenge for us. A game where we're under no pressure, so we can, you know, we can go out and play and express ourselves and see how we do against better opposition. Um, and it's a good chance for the lads that have not had a game for the last few weeks to so come out and play. You know, I, I know Bevan's raring to get a go because it'll be his 50th his appearance, the next appearance for Glossop. So you never know; he may be uh, he may be making a making his 50th appearance on Friday. But listen, great opportunity for all the lads on Friday to. Uh, to test themselves against some quality opposition. Lovely, Stuart. Well, thanks ever so much for talking to us. Safe trip back home, and we'll speak soon. Cheers. We are GNE, say we are GNE. We are GNE, say we are GNE.